Hey man, I'm gonna give y'all the best jump shots for every height. Send this video to someone who cannot shoot. Every build, every height, all the best tips to become a better shooter, okay? Play this game all the time and people can't shoot. A lot of people do not believe in creators, whatever, but they can't shoot, my boy, okay? I am a god. You watch me play, I am a god, okay? I take a lot of breaks, I come back, I be super green, greatest shooter in, of all times. Y'all get this video to 500 likes and I'll show you this bill. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest UK in existence. Now, firstly, now look, this Kevin Durant for a shooting big, you know, say you got a high midi, high three. I like this jump shot. I tried other jump shots. There's something wrong with the big man this year. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. For some reason, bro, it just feel like the game broke. Like, but with this whole, the Kevin Durant, it seemed like I could start hitting. Now, there's a new animation. This goddamn Chris Bosh, right? You don't, you get this, you know, when you're a higher level or whatever. It's not even worth it, bro. Bro, I keep missing with this hoe. I don't know what it is. You see the ratings I got, right? This jump shot right here is horrible, bro, for big man. I don't know. For me, I was trying it. It was trash. Now, look, if you don't have... Now, look, if you're a small build and you don't have patty mills and you don't like curry use this jump shot bro you might even like it more than curry they call it a baby t-mac man you can shoot over people all that you small guard rock the ai my boy I'm getting a lot of questions about this now look this is my favorite jump shot right here man when y'all see me live this is a jump shot i'm using this is my favorite jump shot i think it is the best jump shot in the game okay T-Mac is the best base, easiest to time, game's just horrible, okay? I use multiple different builds. I know y'all be, you have such a high three and many. That. This is just one of the builds, guys. I use so many different builds and different accounts all the time, bro, okay? I shoot 75% uh, percent from three, by the way. So, hey, make sure y'all subscribe too, you know? Now, this is the baby T-Mac, okay? When you mess up your build, a lot of y'all messed it up in the beginning. A lot of us stopped at 86 when you should have went to 87 so you could unlock T-Mac, by the way. When you make your builds, make sure you get the 87 to unlock T-Mac, by the way, okay? Minimum, or at least the mid-range or the three-point. So, look, this is one of my builds where I didn't do that, right? This is one of my first uh, builds, right? It's my Magic Johnson build. And this, I can shoot pretty good with, just like the T-Mac, okay? It looked the same. You get the super high release and everything. It's better than JT Thor for me. It's better than all those other uh, jump shots that are uh, below the T-Mac range, like all the Littles and the Scotty Pippins and all that. This, this feel better to me. Um, and yeah, again, if your, your releases don't work, I mean, again, if you can't get this jump shot, use different releases. The same with all these jump shots. So look, we got Kyle Corver, man. Now look, this jump shot, it's, it's, it's like, it's easier to see your release. Okay. It's a pretty nice jumper. Test it out. The T-Mac not working for you because you do kind of drift a little bit. And you kind of have more load ups. Try this jump route. Is is green beam make your best stream? <laughs> Notice how I said stream, not green. Or scream. <laughs> stream, make your best stream. Okay, look, check it out, man. Test this hoe out. I'm telling you. I got a. Now look, the curry jump shot right here. That's the curry. Look. For these uh, short builds below the uh, 6.5, only use Curry and Patty Mills. Patty Mills, I think you gotta be starter one or starter three or something like that, right? But if you can't get that, use Stephen Curry or AI, okay? Allen Iverson, right? Those are your jumpers, okay? Curry's the best though, okay? But Patty's better than this hoe. But you gotta be a certain rep to use that hoe. Here is the best guard jump shot when you're six five and under. Okay, you shoot over people. People saying it's hella glitchy, but you have to be a certain rep. I think it's starter three or vet three. I don't think it's vet three. 
it's one of the uh reps so you gotta play the game a lot if you don't have this base just put on <laughs> just put on curry and jump shots man well at least the bases you might not be able to get the releases but you could work around that and just switch to uh releases but when i use this seven foot <laughs> point center y'all drop a comment below if you want this build i'll be butter bruh you feel me this little eric pashko on the base you know it's decent i got nice little releases you know you can shoot straight over people you already seven foot then you got a nice release height and a decent speed everything gucci good base for bigs man now the second one i'm gonna show you is this isaac okay you can shoot over people even easier as a point center decent speed a little weaker stability but you know your release height is better man these two bases as a big you know you should really try to get on your build and of course the requirements will be lower if you use different releases and to get all your hot spots dog if you really struggling my career 12 minute quarters on rookie thank me thank me later that method seems to be easier than the street ball method met the street ball method still seems pretty easy but my career 12 minute rookie that seemed crazy easy a lot of people don't know about that bro okay and you could just shoot over people a lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings i even shoot over them in street ball a lot of y'all don't know that here man i want to show y'all this right here guys okay this is very important this is so important bro a lot of y'all you're not thinking man i've been on at least 40 different accounts this year right and i'm noticing something people don't have their badges or their hot spots and they're going to play and then they're whining about the game especially this year since the rebirth right it gets you the silver badges or whatever people aren't getting their hot spots and maxing out their shooting badges you have to do it literally th this right here look y'all are playing and you don't even got this max how do you know the real truth of the game you feel me look hall of fame midi magician bro are you gonna miss a midi with that especially i already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game y'all go check it out for your build i gave y'all the best releases in the game too and i'm finna go over the best jump shots again I go, I put in different jump shots every time. But look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You want to max this hole out. You want to max out Mini Magician. You really want to max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first like i don't know if i'm just tripping but i just feel like these shooting badges change everything like like it's not even close like when you play with without this and then compared to with this it's completely different bro that catch and shoot one of the most important badges bro people don't even got their catch and shoot max they're gonna go play and they're missing Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you got to get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator max that hole watch what happens it's broken look max that hole watch what happens you you see these badges you want to max out your shooting badges bro the agent threes you want to max this hole out before you say like the shooting this and that and that and this the the shooting's broken because mike wang's playing god it's giving you random releases and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right bro when you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right He's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. It's broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wayne really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. Okay? Limitless range. Max it out. Watch what's going to happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro max your badges if you need the method let me know i could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall 
like all of them right i just don't have the time you know this is a new build by the way this is a rebirth i did all this and in, in one day all these badges you see i did all this in two hours before i get into all the jump shots i want to show y'all this right Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know, but look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now, look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up. Yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the now look the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2k and there's so there's different latency in so many different modes so it's kind of hard you know you know but it's still easy right you just got to get used to it you know you got to have your prediction skills up you can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. It throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot. Figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're going to get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important. Your Gatorade is going to help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything if you like if you feel like stuff is really bothering you if you're lag delayed you turn all this off it could help i'm gonna keep it on but they say you turn all this off you know they be doing this in every 2k like the stage guys i don't know if it help or don't the ball trail they turn it all off if you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out this is something you could hey y'all click on this video on the screen but hey hey here we go again Talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.